Hey again, and thanks so much for stopping by the download. Well, let's begin the new week now with a remarkable tribute. At exactly 2.28 Monday afternoon, a nation of 1.3 billion people came to a complete standstill. From Tiananmen Square in Beijing to Sichuan Province, still digging out from last week's earthquake, China came to a complete halt for three minutes. That's the approximate length of last week's earthquake. Well, as you can hear, stillness does not mean silence. In towns large and small, car horns blared, trains blew their whistles, and even large ships in the harbors sounded their horns, like this one in Shanghai Harbor. Well, and then just as it began, it ended. The rescue effort obviously continues. Well, from remarkable to extraordinary, this taking us to a rain-soaked Burma and a site not seen near enough since Cyclone Nargis. Namely, needy Burmese here receiving rice, water, and other essential needs. That time. Well, more extraordinary yet, this is all the work of a German philanthropist. Here he is, and although he's on camera, he asks to remain unidentified. That's because his aid effort is taking place under the nose of Burma's military dictatorship. The unnamed German saying the relief is aimed at undisclosed areas, all but ignored by the military junta, and he's promising to continue his efforts until he's caught. Here's hoping he never is. A case of good news, bad news over the weekend from the troubled Pakistan-Afghanistan region. Good news first, please. An emotional return in the middle of that media scrum for Pakistan's ambassador to Afghanistan. Ambassador Tariq Azizuddin vanished this February while in a tribal area in Pakistan's border region. This video released in April of the ambassador and his Taliban kidnappers. Well, now back in Islamabad, Ambassador Azizuddin thanking Islamabad's, quote, efforts to secure his release. What those efforts were, however, remains unclear. Well, across the border to this Kabul courtroom now, the judge hearing the death sentence appeal by Syed Parwiz Kambach. The student journalist recently found guilty of insulting Islam. That's a crime that carries the harshest punishment in Afghanistan. Well, the hearing lasting one, more than one hour, the 24-year-old journalism student saying his earlier confession was the result of torture. The U.S. State Department expressing concern that Kambach was sentenced to death for, quote, basically practicing his profession. The trial adjourning until this coming Sunday. We'll keep a watch on this one. Finally today, the download happy to offer a solution to traffic jams and the daily commute. Mm, that is if you work very close to your home. And to the city of Tilburg in the Netherlands we take you. Residents there looking for something to put their sleepy town on the map. Art, someone said. Okay, sure, but what kind of art? Well, the kind of art you'll only see on the download. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the city of Tilburg gives you Rotating House. Okay, artist John Kermeling's work here, nearly a decade in the making. The house fully functional and available to rent, if you can believe it. Supply of Dramamine not included. And it's solar powered, too. Uh, well, we're spinning on out of here now. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Awesome.